White baiting is um, catching fish, which are called white bait. Small little tiny fish. Some of them measure oh anywhere from an inch to maybe three inches. My white bait generally at a place called Third Beach in Middletown, Rhode Island. We try to get there at 7, uh, often and there's a compromise 7.15 or 7.30. You go down to the beach at, at early in the morning because of the, it's very quiet on the beach. There's nothing there to scare the fish, not of people in the water and this kind of thing. Yay! It stopped raining. <laughs> morning, Ray. Good morning. The famous net with lots of holes. One bucket. Where's help? I tried to rouse him about three times. <laughs> I think it's a good thing we all got up. You got up on the floor and it was eight. Eight. All right, you know, yeah. 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 That was very coarse. Yeah. Play the music. Uh, <laughs> supposedly it starts in, I could get it all wrong here, but we've been doing this since uh, the 1940s. That's what I hear. And uh, before that, Supposedly, perhaps the pilgrims brought it over from England. The pilgrims? Uh, I think it's the Portuguese. Yeah. No, you think it's the Portuguese? No. Okay. No, but white bait. It was the Indians. No, white bait is a, it's a de delicacy oh. in England. So, oh, it is. You know, okay. Remember, they have it written. Go to any fine restaurant in London. And My father in law is French, well, and they brought it over a, a from France, is, uh, France, as far as they're concerned. So. The, uh, part of oh, the French do it too. How long do we Sure, they do. They do, yeah. This kind of fishing is done with a lot of people, preferably people of different sizes, because of the slant of the beach. There's a few holes in the net, as you can see. Uh, the, net, the net was purchased in England about, uh, uh, I want to ask my father about that. I think the net was... What do I hold on to? Oh yeah, that broke last time. Go like this, you just get a little loop like this, and you put it you put it over your foot, just like that. And that way, you don't want to put it over your ankle, because if you put it over your ankle, when you're walking along, it rides up your ankle, the fish will go underneath like that. So you put it down a little bit, just around your the top of your foot. You keep your foot, and you just drag your foot along the bottom like that. You keep the tension like that, and then that's, that's, it, that's it, basically. There's a fair amount of tension in the net, but we're pretty tough, pretty strong, we're doing this all our lives, every day. You gotta eat, you know? In the water! Uh, but after getting out of a nice, warm, cozy bed and getting into that water is not one of the most comfortable feelings in the world. Oh, the water temperature is always quite warm. There are always people who complain that it's terribly cold. It's probably in the, in the 60s anyway. Yeah. The temperature is usually about 70, anywhere from 70 to 73 or 4. 63 or 4, something like that, but it feels a lot colder. The fish like it. I haven't seen a single white bait. Well, the beaters are there to actually drive the fish into the net. Hey, I'm getting up to my knees here. I just stay there. That's a good, good boy. Stay out there. Kids usually are beaters. The, the taller ones, of course, are out in the deeper water, and the short ones are on the beach, toward the beach. They're not very disciplined. And while we can get them to go in at the same time, place in the water, they do tend to, some go faster than others, and if you're, if you're, if you've done a lot of white baiting, you know that's not good, so you should try to keep your neighbors from getting too enthusiastic and stay in line. The person at the other end, the shore end of the net, he just has to make sure that he doesn't make, leave a gap between him and the shore, end, and then he stops in time of moving. The man at the end moves right to the end, because he has to pull the net way around and pull it up on shore, so uh, he, he really has most of the work.
Well, they have to make sure that the bottom of the net, which is weighted, is dragged along the bottom so fish don't get underneath it. And then ultimately as it gets pulled up on the beach to pull up and, uh, on the bottom of the net so it virtually makes kind of a, a hammock out of the net holding all the, all the fish. I see wow. a few keepers. Hey, good. This little guy. Okay. This little guy can go back in the water. Oh, he goes back. Yeah. Press <laughs> tips. Ooh. Yes, guys. Yes, guys. Yes, guys. What is that? That's a grouper. No. That's not a bad ball. That's such a beautiful. Give it global warming and all. That's not bad. We used to either roll them in flour or cornmeal and uh, fry them. What's that? How's that for a haul, right? Oh, huge. <laughs> really good haul is not too many white bait, but lots of little crabs, little baby flounders, and various kinds of things. Uh, Blue eels. Blue eels and little, little blowfish. I don't know, we haven't seen blowfish. We haven't seen blowfish. Yeah. Blowfish. What? I'm getting everybody, but I got a lot of bats.